there was some simple science that would help my mother out in listening to this conversation. I am all up for this. What is the simple science that will, will help us here? Well, you know, there's, these aren't the best arguments, but I argue there's something anybody can understand. And that would be to say just to take the core samples. You go to Greenland, you go to Antarctica, and they drill through the ice and they see these layers. And it's just like tree rings. You get a layer every year. And we know these layers represent years because you can see the volcanic ash from, say, Krakatoa. You can see the volcanic ash from the eruption of Vesuvius that uh, wiped out Pompeii. And we got good historical records about how many years separated those events. And so we can look at the layers and we can see that it adds up to those years. And this is a core that reveals 740,000 layers so far. They're trying to get the other layers below that but they've gone down 740,000. In these layers, they can see a record of the variation of the Earth's eccentricity. You know, if you just use straight Newton's laws of motion, we have this 100,000 year cycle for the variation of the eccentricity. And these ice layers show seven of those cycles. So you can see the sinusoid through the uh, ice layers going down through those 740,000 years. There is a sediment drill off of New Zealand that takes it back four million years, not with the same resolution, but again, you can see uh, these patterns in there. And then you can look at things like um, a coral reefs. And the interesting thing about a coral reef is you not only get a yearly band, like with a tree ring, you get a daily band. And so this records how many days there are in the year. And what's significant about this is that you've got the gravity of the moon and the gravity of the sun working on the Earth to slow down the rotation rate. And again, just applying Newton's laws of motion, it would tell us, say, that uh, 400 million years ago, the Earth would have a rotation rate a little faster than 21 hours a day. And then we have records of coral reefs that take us back those 400 million years, and what we see is daily bands that would record uh, more than 400 days uh, in